Trump. You're now in a runoff in the Alabama Senate primary against Katie Britt, who I should note we did invite to join us here today, but she was unavailable. All of this is happening after former President Trump decided to unendorse you, sir, saying you had blown it by going, quote, woke for not talking about what he says was 2020 election fraud. What exactly did the president ask you to do after the 2020 election? The president and I had many conversations between September 1st and his decision to unendorse me that revolved around his being reinstated, uh, revolved around his wanting to rescind the election. And I can understand him wanting to do that, okay? He was robbed, in my judgment, in 2020. In his judgment, he was robbed. And so I can understand that desire. Uh, the conflict was when I would explain the law does not permit us to do that. Our one shot at reversing the election, our one shot in an election contest under the United States Constitution and federal law is on January 6th. That's it. That's the final appeal date. So anything we do after that has to focus on winning the 2022 and 2024 elections. We can use what happened in 2020 as a motivation to try to get better election laws to use as a motivation to win in 2022 and 2024 to save our country. But what is now done in 2020 is irreversible under the United States Constitution and the United States Code. And I'm one of those who believes in law and order. I might not like it that that's the end game, but that is the end game. And just to go on the is the end game. And just to go on the record, there has been still no evidence or proof provided that there was any uh, sort of fraud in that. Any well, no, that's wrong. Don't, that I election. don't know why you people in the media just, keep I saying just, that, but that is absolutely false. That, that is absolutely false. You keep note, saying though, it every time, but what, that's absolutely what false. Is false sir? You had 150 congressmen and senators who absolutely disagreed with you on what you just said. So what are you calling them? What are you calling them when you say 150? Uh, Republican senators and congressmen looked at the voter fraud issue and said there was a major problem. What are you calling the Commission on Federal Election Reform, a bipartisan ref, uh, uh, mm -hmm. committee uh, with Jimmy Carter on the one hand and James Baker, Ronald Reagan, White House Chief of Staff on the other, back in 2005, who analyzed the systemic weaknesses, the systemic flaws in our election system and warned us that elections are going to be stolen if we don't fix these problems and those problems are, were not fixed. Okay. So I don't know who's telling you there's no evidence, the, the but that tells me you haven't judges, done your homework. I'm sorry, but judges, that's the way it is. The courts and the judges that have no, no, the that courts. No, wait, time out. Don't go into that. Don't go okay. into that. All right. Don't I go into that. Up, though, the courts do that not note. have the. Wait a minute. No, no. I'm getting. I'm getting in the last word on this one because you just made a false statement. Okay. The courts are not the final arbiter of who wins federal election contests. Congress is. That is required by the United States Constitution. That is required by the United States Code for congressmen and senators and the president. So don't be surprised that courts quote, don't usurp. The power just that is quote, authorized the United States Congress. Let me just quote the GOP commissioner in Wisconsin in the Wall Street Journal uh, today. Printed, and I will read it verbate. He said, there is no evidence that election fraud is the reason Trump lost in Wisconsin, and that is not for lack of looking. His advice to your party is to pivot away from these conspiracy theories focused on the issue that affects Wisconsin families and their pocketbooks. Sir, I want to move on to January okay, 6th and the, ask you look about the, the committee. Okay, then look at the judge's opinion. Look at the judge's opinion in Pennsylvania that talked about over 2 million illegal ballots cast. That was their court order. Sir, look at the uh, special investigation of a former Wisconsin. Committee. Wisconsin Supreme Court justice who found significant voter fraud at nursing homes in the state of Wisconsin. Okay. Look at the 2000 Mules documentary that has come out. Look at